Hello. Hello, Miss Sarah, Miss Savannah, right? Maybe. I think I swallowed my tooth. That's fine, okay? So, do you still remember what we talked about last yeah. lesson? Yeah. Okay. Power of two. Okay, so can you describe the problem? It's about the power of two. So, we can add these operations to a given number, a number down to zero, by only subtraction and addition uh, by a uh, power of two. We are done, yes. Technically, we're given a non-negative integer, zero, one, two, three, up to, you know, infinity. We're given this uh, non-negative integer, and with one operation, we can add or subtract a power of two. Uh, what's the smallest, the power of two? One. One, yes, because it's two to the power of zero, okay? And we want to bring down the number as quickly as possible. We're just talking possible. about two to the power of minus one, which is 0.5. Yes, okay. So last lesson, we talked about this uh, proof of. So basically, we're given this uh, number like n, we want to find out the nearest nearest power of 2, which has only two possibilities. The, the one on the left, which is 2 to the power of 8, the one on the right, which is 2 to the power of a plus 1, right? There are two possibilities. If this is n, a equals the integer part of the log 2n, right? Okay? And then the distance here is n minus 2 to the power of a. The distance on the right-hand side is 2 to the power of a plus 1 minus n. And the cost of bringing down this bit and this bit to zero is we just call this f function separate and then we need to compare the minimum power of it okay this is recursion and recursion we are proof of thing actually actually it's technically it's not proof of thing all of it right what's proof of try every single possibility every single possibility but we are not trying the single possibility here because we only try two solutions here left or right it's not the every possibility the possibility, look, from n, how do we prove off to make it down to zero? There are a limited number of possibilities. I mean, technically. I mean, it's quite a lot, right? So, you know, instead of 2 to the power a, I could try the next smallest here, 2 to the power a minus 1. I can try 2 to the power of a minus 2, right? So not just this and that. We need to prove that it's enough to only try these two solutions. But this is out of scope. I would try to talk about this math proof in the next lesson. We talk about the... Uh, Optimization, which is they find the closest power of 2 instead of trying both. Fn function returns the number of the step, minimum number of steps to bring the n down to 0. It's a recursion function. If n equals 0, obviously we don't need any more steps. If n, n, n minus 1 equals 0, returns 1. If it's power of 2, yeah, we talk about this. If it's power of 2, then we only need one step. Otherwise, we find this a, right? Closest, closest power of 2. And there are two possibilities, and A, and A is this left side, and B is the right side, and whichever is smaller, we determine. In order to calculate Fn, we need to calculate F, n minus 2 to the power of A, and F, 2 to the power of A plus 1 minus N. So we need to calculate 2 Fn, right? So, but this is a search tree function. This is a search tree. So in order to calculate F A, uh, Fn, we need to calculate 2, which is F, n minus 2 to the power of a or n f 2 to the power of a plus 1 minus n look this is the binary tree this n will become smaller right smaller it's a log 2 binary tree log 2 complexity term complexity this is smaller but it's likely this f n may be needed a few times so we need to put a cache here to to make it a dynamic programming top down dynamic programming am i right yes this is what a cache is for look f n and this will continue, f something, f something, right? If we're expanding the binary tree, this f function, given this n, n could be reused. So we use the cache function. We don't actually need to calculate two things. We just need to find the smallest of these. For example, this is smaller, then we go to the left. If this is smaller, we go to the right. Every time, we can just pick a branch and go. So if this is like binary search, right? Yeah? 100. I, um, you guess the number 50. And if I said the 50 is bigger than the number... 75. The is 50 is bigger than the number... Oh, in 25. Yeah, you, you always pick a half, right? The same thing. So if we always pick the half, NA, so instead of this calling this F function, we just compare F, NA and NB, which is smaller than we call this F minimum NA and NB. This is the optimization, and it will speed up the process. We want to bring down this number N as quickly as possible. For example, like 127, the nearest the power of 2 is 128, right? This is the nearest power of 2. So 127 minus 128 is minus 1. It doesn't matter because we can add. 
we can add a power of 2 to it. If we add a power of 2, which is 1, 2 minus 1, then it becomes 0. So it doesn't matter if it temporary or negative. Okay, this is why we go always go for the nearest power of 2. How do we visualize this in binary? For example, like a 10. 10 is a plus 2, right? 10 is so a plus zero, 2. So 0, 1, 0, 1, right? No, 1, 0, 1, one, zero, one zero. 10, 0, 1, 0. Yes, this is a, right? This is a, this is 2, right? Power of 2, right? So we want to bring this down to the 0. So basically, we're just removing this one. Because each one, each single one is power of 2. Make sense? 1, 2, 4, A. Okay? By the way, the log of 2 function, n, basically finding the most significant bit from left to the right. For example, this, log 2, 10. Log 2, 10. Okay? 2 to the power of something equals 10. What's the number? The, if I'm looking for this integer part, so it should be 3, right? Because 2 to the power of 3 is 8. 2 to the power of 4 is 16. So it falls between 8 to 16. Okay? So if we visualize here, right? Log 2 n, this is n. 10. 10 n equals 10 equals this. This is decimal, okay? This is binary. So actually we're looking for this, right? Looking for this, the leftmost. Left the most significant bit. So if we go from left to the right, the most significant bit is this 8. 8. And its distance to the rightmost is 1, 2, 3. Look, how many digits? 1, 2, 3. So the answer is 3. Look to the power of 15 equals what? Uh, one, one, one. Well, 15. 1, 1, 1, 1, right? So what's the answer? Look, this is the most significant bit. How many digits? 1, 2, 3. So log 2 is 3. Okay, because 2 to the power of 4 is 16. Right? 16, look, look. 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. This is 16. And log to the power most significant bit is this bit. So how many digits? How many distance to the right? 1, 2, 3, 4. Make sense? Yeah? yeah. This is log 2 for log 2, base 2. Because it's binary, we can do it this way. It's binary. This is binary. We're just looking for this. Okay, so look at this. We, we just need how many steps we need to reduce it. How do we bring the 10 to 0? 2 minus 2, 8. Minus 2 minus 8, right? We need a uh, 2 step. So it's basically removing this. Mm. How about, wait, um, how about. Hang on, wait a minute. There must be a problem here. Isn't that right, Chesley? Just around looking at you. Just today, How about 111? What's this? This is 7, right? What's the number of steps to bring it down to? Why is there 0 in front of the 11? Plus 1 minus 8. Yes, okay, so 2 steps, right? Yeah? Yeah, yeah? Why is not 3? 111. I can do this uh, minus 1 minus 2 minus 4. This is not optimum. I can just plus 1. Because if I plus 1, you become one zero zero zero. It's quicker, all right? It's quicker. Two step, right? Why we talk about this binary thing? Okay. So anyway, the, the previous one, right? The previous one. This is the uh, approach. Today we're going to rewrite this using the iterative, not the recursion. Okay, not the recursion. So every time we just choose the minimum, the nearest uh, power of two, right? If it's closer, look. This is n. If it's closer to this uh, two to the power a. We, we choose this side. If we cross to, to this uh, 2 to the power a plus 1, which one is shorter? We pick this one. Uh, but in order to do this, this is greedy. We need to prove it works. Okay, so I'm going to talk about this mass proof in the next lesson in order to use this. But today, we can convert this to the iterative approach. Okay, define the fn. Uh, this is the same, right? If n equals 0, return 0. If n equals n, n minus 1 equal equal 0, then return return 1. This is checking if the number is power of 2, okay? So look, if a number is power of 2, in a binary, it's just one single one followed by uh, some zeros, right? Yeah, this is power of 2, right? Power of 2, right? Some zeros. And if this is power of 2, a minus 1, a subtract 1, it will become 0 followed by all 1s, right? And if I do the n, 1 and 1, n, is 1. All other cases is 0. So 0 and 1, n is 0. So it becomes all 0. Okay? So I can use this to check if the number is power of 2. Okay? So if it's power of 2, return 1. Otherwise, answer equal at the beginning 0. And we check while n is bigger than 0 or while n. If it's not 0, obviously we need to plus 1. Then we check uh, this a equals the integer part or the floor function log 2n 
right? And then n a is this n minus two to the power of a, two to the power of a. n b equals two to the power of a plus one minus n. And then n would be just become n a or n b, right? Which is shorter, so it becomes. Uh, two to the power of the uh, minimum of n a or n b. Okay, so and return, return, answer. So two to the power of a. How do we calculate two to the power of a? We can do this mass dot power, mass dot power. Two to the power of a, right? Two a. Or we can use this one, binary one, shift, shift. A position to the left, less than the same. N is actually the minimum of N A and B, right? N A and B. N A equals N minus two to the power of A, so it's which is one shift shift A position to the left. N B equals one shift shift A plus one two to the power of A plus one minus minus N. Okay, oh this is N A. This is N B. So this is iterative approach using the while loop. Every time picking the closest to, okay, closest power of two. And this one is the recursion. We're using the cache if it goes two ways, right? Fn, Fn, F, this is n minus two to the power of a. This is F two to the power of a plus one minus n. So this approach iterative is always pick the a branch which is shorter, which is smaller. The brute force way would be just to evaluate the both approaches and find a minimum. We just have to make sure we remember the intermediate results. Eh? The time complexity is all log n because, uh, because of this. Because of this, we are bringing down the n, right? We are bringing down the n. This is in the scale of two to the power of a log two. You see this log two here. What have you learned today? About the same thing as log two with the power of two. We learned about the power of two, and we need to sub. We're like adding a subtract thing. We're using a new solution, obviously. Yeah, the new solution. This is iterative. Okay. Yep. Ah. Okay. Actually, this is not the only recursion formula. Oh. We can have another recursion formula, which I'm going to talk about um, in the next lesson. Okay. So it's actually this is finding the minimum. Um, uh, finding the closest to actually. The other way is to check if this given n is integer or not integer. Uh, but we also need to prove, right? Why we need to prove? If it's a, if it's an even number, right? Sit down. If it's an even number, f two x f two x is actually the same as f x, right? If this is an even number, right? But we have to prove. For example, f f a is the same as f sixteen, right? If it's all power of two, right? But for other non power of two, we have to prove. Also, this f two x plus one is the minimum. We need to find the minimum of f x right on f x plus one, and then this is plus one. And based on these, based on these two, it's enough to come up with a recursion which bring down the time complexity to log two n right log two n because look every time. 2x, I just need to work on this x. It's half. Right? Every time it's it's in a scale of half x to divided by 2. Okay, so this is another approach which we're going to talk about in the next lesson. Okay, that's it for today. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.